two balls and a mic. You are already dead. What? And the interview we have. It's spicy. I love it. Katon! Kokaku no Jusu! Welcome to Two Balls and a Mic. You were about to do it if you want to go for it. Oh, I was fixing my shirt. Oh, I love it. Two balls <laughs> and a mic. Episode 23. Uh, there's a lot of talk about today, a lot of developing stories. Uh, we want to go ahead and say uh, that the USL is coming back this week, match week with the SD Loyal, playing against Real Monarchs Saturday at 11, at 1 p.m. We're actually going to have a watch party with that, so stick around and see what we're going to do uh, live on Zoom. We also have Patrick Mahomes, who just got paid over a half a billion dollars possible in the next 10 years. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shout out Soccer Shot, Tacos El Vaquero, and Fierce Beats, our sponsors, Tacos El Vaquero, who is uh, now with P- Three Punks Ale. And, I mean, there's just a lot to talk about. We'll get straight through it because I don't even want to just – there's a lot. So It just feels great that there's a lot now. <clears throat> good. Yes, definitely. However, comma, the most important news that came out this weekend is Joey Chestnut. Uh, world most, world beater Joey Chestnut. If you probably don't know who, the most decorated athlete in the world, right? Yeah, he uh, Joey Chestnut. If you don't know, is a uh, professional eater, hot dog eater. It's traditional over the Fourth of July weekend that there's a hot dog eating contest. This man ate uh, an approximate seventy five seventy five hot dogs in under uh, ten minutes or in ten minutes. No. It was is it ten minutes? Sivato, Sivato, uh, seventy five oh. hot dogs. Breaks the record. I mean, Ew, I didn't know it was ten minutes. I thought it was like an hour. All right, all right. Fuck Joey Chestnut. All right, I'm a Kobayashi guy. Okay, this, that was my homie, uh, <laughs> Joey Chestnut, worth nine 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 hundred thousand dollars. Whatever. Imagine Most, being worth nine hundred thousand dollars for eating a lot of hot dogs. I mean, I guess he's the best at something. So, kudos there. Yep. Uh, but the most pressing information and the most pressing. Uh, thing that's happening this week is that SD Loyal uh, is coming back against Monarcas, Real Monarcas. The Monarcas America. <laughs> yeah, and so America. And so that's going to be at Saturday, 1 p.m. We're actually planning a Zoom watch party. So with this Zoom watch party, what it's going to be is we have Zoom Pro, uh, which means there's no limit to the time that we have for meetings up uh, longer than three minutes. Uh, no, more than three guests. So we're going to have, we're going to watch the game on the CW here in the studio. So if you guys want to watch with us, we're going to have a pregame party. So like imagine the tailgate, excuse me, pregame party, the non tailgate, tailgate pregame party. Uh, if you want to have it, we're going to go ahead and have it. Bring your own, uh, you know, BYOB, I guess. BYOB. Uh, so bring it's your gonna own It's going to be super food. chill, man. It's going to be super chill. If there's one of you, two of you, three of you, we're going to have it. We'll interact. Uh, we'll Maybe we have trivia, give stickers away, get get your DM us your, your mailing address, and we'll we'll mail you some. or Watch uh, the game and give a hat away. I don't know. It's it's possibilities. And just after the game, just have a chat about what we thought, you know, because we, we've only seen Loyal play really two official games. Yeah. Unless you saw them against uh, uh, Reno. Yeah, but I mean, uh, which I did. Good game. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and have that. More information is going to come out later in the week uh, about that watch party. It's, it should be, should be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. We don't know if it's going to be good or not. I mean, it's going to be good. Well, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I, I think the more fun. the merrier. The more the merrier is going to be fun. Uh, go ahead and because um, I don't think it, 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 no, we got we got insider information from within the loyal that um, you know it doesn't look like they want to you know get behind any watch party just because of what's going on and the shutdown and everything here in San Diego and in California. Chances are everything's going to close down. Again, See about you know? those. So. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's not looking good. At least you won't have to wear a face mask at, a face mask at this watch party. <laughs> exactly. There you go. I mean, Chilo uh, Jair, his 
Twitter name. Uh, Jerry, I guess, can. His, he has a San Diego Loyal one. Oh, I God. don't know how. I don't know how. We will get one eventually. Yeah, Soccer Logo is going to have them. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and shift it over to that. Uh, give me a. Uh, we just had Alan from the Fairweather podcast on, like not too long ago. He, that interview is going to drop later in the week. Um, he gave us a two-one uh, score for this upcoming game prediction. Yeah, uh, what was your pred- prediction? Predicting loyal to win. Oof. Honestly, I'd be happy with a tie. I'd be happy with a one-one tie. Two-two tie, make it more exciting. Sure. I'm actually gonna give the expectations of an entertaining game. I'm gonna go three-two loyal. That's a good game. I'm expecting a really good game as a return. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and we never know. I mean, there's been there's been defenses can be a little sloppy. You yeah. Know, goalkeepers might not be in the best form that they've been. In the best shape. No best form. Um, shape. The shape. Yeah, form. Pues no es como sabes este bato de las Chivas, güey. El Toño Estaba bien El Toñito bien. El Portero de Cristo No, no, el Portero no He took a corner um, There was a picture of him And then they post him They post a picture With Fat Ronaldo next to him He's like Like don't let the Apariencias uh, que te, que te, uh. Oh man <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen it Damn I'll send it to you For sure um, But yeah Going back To the Premier League Yes So again Congratulations Liverpool blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Did blah, you blah, see blah. that Guard of Honor Of Man City Yeah uh, did you see Bernardo Silva? Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Oh, man. He, he, he's not even clapping. He's just drinking his water. I, I, I think the card of honor is pretty stupid. It uh, it It is. I mean, it's a, something, I mean, you have to do. It kind of sucks if you're Man City and you're competing for the title and you have to do that. I mean, I get it if you're like West Ham and you're playing Liverpool. You're going gonna to show your respect. But Man City, I, I, you can tell it hurt. Let's see. How good does it feel if you win it? Oh, so that's the thing. Exactly. That's the thing. Like, exactly. if you if you hate it so much, then be on the other side of it. Be on the other side of it. Win it for once, and you'll know how great it is. And there was a there was the ESPN put a, a couple pictures of all the guard of honor. So it's like Chelsea clapping Liverpool in, Liverpool clapping Chelsea in, Manchester United clapping Liverpool, Liverpool. Oh man. Well, no, actually, what am I saying? Excuse me. I said something. Like Chelsea clapping Liverpool in. No, because that's never happened up until this year. So enjoy it. <laughs> You're going to have another 30 years of not winning anything. Um, but I guess we'll move I, on I to my friends, focusing. You know, club has to retire eventually. <laughs> yeah, we'll focus on Arsenal, I guess, just because they're the ones that haven't won anything, really. Yeah. Um, I mean, dude, Leicester City and Chelsea drop points. I know. The week. I know. I uh, know. Which is uh, know. great for Manchester United. Yeah, they're playing really good, too. They've, dude, they've been. So I saw a stat. It said when Pogba and Bruno Fernandes are on the pitch together, Man, you average to score every thirty-seven minutes. I need I need Pogba to um, skedaddle. So yeah, I need him out asap. I need him to be upset. I need somebody to upset him. I need I need something what to happened? happen. I need Pogba to leave because if Pogba stays with Bruno Fernandez, Matic just re-signed with you guys. God mm-hmm. damn it! Like like I have a super soft spot for Matic. And he's a great player, and you guys are finally seeing and, the worth of Mati. And we're probably going to end up keeping Rashford for a while, Greenwood for a while. Martial could be the player that I kind of see maybe someone wanting to get him, but I don't, I'm not too sure. Uh, if the team's playing well, I think the players are going to w- be motivated to stay, Yeah, uh, especially if they qualify for Champions League. Oh, man, it's it's it's, Three, it's two panning against out. Man. It's panning out to be an exciting couple of years now that the, this Premier League is pretty much over. Uh, up ahead, there are some really interesting teams. Chelsea has a really interesting team. We're actually going to talk to uh, the Next Gen Podcast, Mister, and I'll go ahead and say Next Gen Podcast because I, out of respect for his amazing name. Um, sh- sh- I'm not even How try. do you drop points against West Ham? But though, I mean, that's the story of Chelsea. Like, look. But Manchester United is playing out of their minds. You guys are just like, well, it's working. Yeah. Cool. Let's yeah. go with it. Yeah. Awesome. You guys had developed into this. Chelsea has this whole time still been a relatively young team. I mean, when you have, when we started this season, I don't know if you remember back, back way back when, Tammy Abraham was leading the league in, in goals. Yeah. El pinche morro. And so, you know, uh, Mason Mount, you have, uh, you know, Kante was out for a while. Pulisic so, was out. Pulisic was out. So, I mean, that that's before. Now, 
you know, you're trying to bring everybody everybody back in. They're still playing really well, but I mean, they did good this weekend. Yeah, they I mean, were good this weekend, but like, I don't know. Like, Manchester United's just doing really well, and I mean, is it is it going to matter if Manchester City is 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 not is disqualified from Champions League? And then well, well, five? Well, I, what I'm not sure is if they'll actually move it down to number five. But I don't. If I mean, they do, then we're in a pretty good spot. Yeah, uh, I mean, you guys still have to play Leicester City, right? I don't know who do you guys still have to play. Um, we have like, you have a tough team ahead. I I know that for sure. Our right, man, wow. use toughest team up ahead is uh, Leicester City. So we play oh, Sheffield, buddy. Uh, we play Crystal Palace, sure. Um, it's the Norwich. El, uh, no, that's uh, FA Cup. No, 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 Norwich. You play FA Cup is Spain. You. That's what I'm saying. Like that oh, one. you guys still play Liverpool. Yeah, we still play Liverpool, which, which at that point, yeah, you know, they, they might, might. I mean, they got crushed by City for nothing. Well, uh, the City, who then turned around and, and lost, lost 1-0. Yes. Like, so yes. everything's, like, up in the air. It's unpredictable at this point. Like, les vale madre a todos. I mean, Straight it's up. pretty much over. The only people that are really playing for anything are relegation. And Man U and Chelsea, Leicester, for Champions League qualifications. But well, speaking of Premier League, Tottenham played today against Everton one nothing, and at halftime, something interesting happened that you don't normally see on the field. That this type of stuff usually happens uh, in the locker room, uh, but Yoris just <laughs> approached <laughs> he running. It, yeah, he made it sound like to, you were you, you were you were in you've been in many locker rooms. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. It is it is true though. <laughs> uh, but I mean, they had an altercation. You know, they were. Yelling at each other, looked like they wanted to fight mm-hmm. each other, and I mean Yoris. They did ask Yoris at the end of the game what happened. I guess he was just upset at Son because they weren't pressing right, and he said that it's stuff that happens in soccer. And I mean, I agree with him, you know. But you don't show that frust- frustration mm-hmm. during what what is happening, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would know firsthand, like as a goalkeeper, like. The, that frustration of just, I don't know, like not going for the ball, not pressing, not doing what you're supposed to be doing, not doing your job. Because, and, and you know, we're the ones that are just there and see everything. He's not a defender. Um, so, so we're watching the clip right now. Yeah, we'll get some audio. show you guys because of, A few uh, gestures come up as well. Watch Youngman's on there. Hugo Lloris goes back towards him, shouting, gesturing. In fact, yeah, Hugh so Lloris should be taking yes, a goal kick and the referee did, goes and talks to him. I mean, and then when the whistle is blown, he was supposed time, to do. Was, what, a minute or two later, he comes over and tries to confront Young Min Son. Something is not right between these two, that's for certain. Certainly some fire in some bellies. And then a few moments ago, I can show you this that did happen. There's going to be a little hug. Okay. There you go. Oh, All right. So there was a little hug, conciliation. Thank you, Rebecca Lowe, uh, special analyst for two balls and a mic per NBC News. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that's the captain of the team. You got to yell at your players when they're not doing something right, or, or else you don't deserve to be captain. Yeah, but the, the like, I've I've crossed that red line as a goalkeeper where you just like just shove people and just. But that's 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 always too much. You can yeah. literally just shout in their face and do everything. Maybe like a, like a this, but like once you extend and what Jordi's did, like yeah. that's just going beyond it. I agree. Um, but even then, like, like I get it. Usually that's reserved for defenders, but you know, for him to go up against uh, somebody up in, up in the midfield and, and forward area, you know, you don't really see it where the and it's crazy that. because you think of Son and you're like, He's a player that nobody hates. Yeah, like everyone loves Son. Yeah, so I mean, you know, you know if if it worked and and you know that little pep talk and Yuri st- thought that that's the best way to get to him, you know, you never know. And you know, like I said, usually cameras don't catch that, but you know now they did, and so it's interesting to see you know that dynamic. And they were fine at the end. They gave a little, you know, hey man, like it's okay, like sorry, me pasé de poquito. Um, yeah, but some upcoming games for the Premier League. We have Chelsea playing tomorrow against Crystal Palace. Hopefully with our regular um, uniforms. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. How, do you, how do you feel being I like sponsored him. with Chance the Rapper? Look, I like I like it. I like the new uniform. The I, uh, That three, man. That three know. is hideous, know. but you know what? I like the jersey altogether. I mean, um, yeah, it's, like, it's your classic. I would, it's your I, would, classic blue. I would buy it. I mean, ever since we lost Samsung, Chelsea's... Like <laughs> caribou, pinche Yokohama tires. Um, now this, 
yeah, it's interesting uh, with everything that's happening. Uh, I don't know when Man U is actually going to use their new kit, the, the Christmas Vive kit, mm-hmm. which I'm not a big fan of. But, again, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, for Premier League, that's, that's pretty much it. That's kind of what's been going on with it. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> hard when Liverpool already won the title. Yeah. Uh, like you said, everything's pretty much up for the use of relegation. Yeah, so then uh, La Liga uh, is, I guess, that one's still open for the race up top where it, it usually is. Uh, yeah, kind of. Well, I mean, what four do you mean point, kind of? Four points? That's that's still doable, I yeah, guess. That's, uh, for Madrid to drop points two games, two game, I don't think that's going to happen. It almost happened. I mean, they barely beat, um, who was it, uh, Athletic Bilbao? No. Yeah, they play yeah, Athletic Bilbao. Bilbao. 1-0, it's a team that you should be Penalty. beating. Penalty, Sergio Ramos has been crazy in form. He's been yeah. scoring a lot of goals. I think since we came back from the... From the pod, from the quarantine, uh-huh. he scored more. He has scored more goals than Antonio Griezmann, which Antonio Griezmann, I guess, has been having a the worst of seasons, and, and nobody's liking him, and he's getting shit mm-hmm. talked to. He did come up with a goal, but in this recent game, yeah, he four. he actually is tied with Neymar in goals. What Neymar did in his first season, so like, all right, so because this is Griezmann's first season with Barca. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he, but at the same time, you got to think Neymar was 21. See you. Still growing as a player. Maybe not 20 years old. Griezmann's already a s- solid player that's re- pretty much at his peak. Yeah. And he's only played in, in La Liga pretty much. He was a Sociedad, Atletico Madrid. He was part, he was teammates with uh, Vela, Sociedad. Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're super, super good friends. Yeah. I think they they had a time where, uh, they missed training and they got in trouble because they went to a concert together or something Aww. like that. Aww. Yeah, I remember that. But yeah, they were super close homies. Carlos Vela, who recently just uh, opted out for the new MLS uh, tournament, which yeah. we got a breaking news from the interview we just did from with Alan Underwood. I mean, I mean, we're look two balls in a mic is going big. We have uh, yeah. USL insider and and and, and connoisseur of, of USL, Mr. Alan Underwood. And MLS, I guess, is, is he let us know, hey, DC United dropping out right now. Um, and then we have Rebecca Lowe, who just, you know, directly from London right now or, or New York, whatever time it is. I mean, yeah. we're, we're doing it big, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Barca, they did, did drop points against Atletico during uh, yeah. on Friday. No, no, no. What was the game? No, it was during the week, right? Yeah. It was on, actually, uh, here we go, Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, which is the day that we drop our episodes, but we record on Mondays. Uh, but they tied 2 2. And mm-hmm. that was a tough one for them. It was and, a tough one for them. You know, yeah. like four points. I'm telling you, four points in La Liga is a lot. But it's like, who, needs, who needed that game more, though? Because Atletico is not doing well. And so, no, I mean, Atletico's in third place. They're two points above Sevilla. Yeah, they're, yeah. Still, they're, they're always going to make Champions League no yeah. matter what. Uh, even though some days they're in fifth, that from third place uh, to fifth, the point difference is eight, mm-hmm. and then from third place to second, the point difference is eleven. Interesting, you know, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, and then from Madrid to Bar- uh, Barcelona to Madrid, it's just four points. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I gotta say, I think Madrid is gonna end up taking the league. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're gonna draw points at all, mm-hmm. and uh, it's, uh, it's Madrid. Pretty much La Liga champs, man. Maybe we'll see. Anything can happen. Anything, can, anything, anything can happen. Is possible. Um, but yeah, Copa Mexico, Copa Port Mexico also happened. Um, yeah, before that, real yeah. quick, I wanted like to touch. Uh, Ronaldo scored a free kick. Uh, his first free kick for and Juventus, said, yeah. and he actually said, "You know, I needed this free kick because it boosted my confidence." And, you know, there's always those stats that they compare with him and Messi. Because mm-hmm. Messi also just recently scored his 700 goal, mm-hmm. uh, which Ronaldo has 723, I believe. Yeah. And the question has to be asked, who's going to end up with more goals? Ronaldo. Ronaldo? Uh, bec- yes. Yeah. So the thing is, Ronaldo's older by two years. Uh-huh. Who's going to stay playing longer? I still think Ronaldo's going to play longer. I think Messi's going to retire before Ronaldo. I think they, I think they, I think they have a blood pact, and they, they retire, retire at the same time. That'd be great. Just like say, hey guys, it's it's twenty thirty six. It's and we, 
We've uh, gone all through MLS seven times each. Uh, Imagine. Oh, man. You know what? It's, it's time to call it quits, man. 42-year-old Ronaldo just crapping on players in the MLS. Or Liga Mexico. Look, man, MLS. you have Tom Brady crapping on, on, on the defenses, and he's a 40-something-year-old man. Like, True. It's possible. True. Ronaldo True. can do it. Messi... Messi can be 50 years old, walking in the midfield, just distributing the ball, giving passes. Yeah. And Straight he'd up. be fine. Straight uh, up. So, I mean, uh, Ronaldo has a little bit. I think he, he has, like, three more freaky goals than Messi. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just, I, I, we're so lucky mm-hmm. that we get to experience. What, what's it been, like, 12 years of pure excellence? Mm-hmm. Like, and. And again, we can have twelve more. You never know. <laughs> uh, and I mean, before we touch Mexican soccer, you know, like stay in Europe. Yep. Yeah, like there's been a lot going on uh, with Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. You know, we, we kind of told you guys like, hey, like yeah, the the Bundesliga is pretty much on. There's no news coming out of there anymore. I mean, they're well, signing people. Yeah, they Things signed Leroy Sané, 21 years old, 47.5 million, Jenkins. which is steal. Yeah. It's Super. steel. Like, As prices probably, are going down. Dude, the, the market's going down. If you notice, Man U, I think they said they won't pay more than $50 million for Sancho. Yeah. It's crazy because just literally two years ago, people were playing, paying $120 million for, like, how much did Barca play for Dembele? Like, 100 yeah, and something? Yeah, I think it's 120 And I think it, it's that. It's crazy. Dembele, combination Dembele and Neymar, where PSG and Barcelona paid for paid that much for those players. Yeah. And look. There's not that much of a return, but Leroy Sané coming going back to Germany. Uh, I think it's going to be just deadly. I mean, what else are they going to do? Like, I guess uh, if you for ask, the Champions League, honestly, sure. You ask me, Leroy Sané is better than the Mele. Yeah. a lot better than the Mele. Yeah, I mean, I, we've seen more of him, and and he's he's a, diff- a little bit different type of player. But yeah, I mean, he's 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 on it. Like this was this was huge. Like for a winger, this fool is huge. He's fast too, man. Sí, Bayern Munich have some pacey players, dude. They have Davis, who's one of the fastest left backs. Uh, Sane, who's super quick and super fast. Ah, uh, they. Oh, never mind. He's just six feet tall. Which is still, Which is still pretty tall. I mean, I'm, like for I'm soccer? six feet tall. Yeah, I'm six feet tall. Are you um, really? Yeah. Wow, you are tall. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, why my, my fat is, like, stretched out and distributed. Really. <laughs> but then Thiago might leave Bayern Munich. He's linked to Liverpool, which, which, ah, oh man. You've always, Manchester United has always wanted Thiago. I remember there was I've before he went. I've been a Thiago fan since he was in Barca. Yeah. And I, I think he was the next Xavi or Iniesta there. And they let him go. Xavi and Iniesta, they just take too long at Barca, in my opinion. And Thiago said, I'm out. Yeah, and same thing with now they let Arthur go. So, yeah, so Thiago to Liverpool. Uh, imagine that midfield. Who would you get rid of? Hender- Henderson, yeah. yeah, yeah. Slide him in with. So you still it? have uh, Winjalum. Winjalum. He's, he's a beast. Yeah. Uh, you still have Fabinho at CDM, mm-hmm. and then you got Thiago with, uh, I guess Wijnaldum. Because mm-hmm. you still have Keita. Yeah, and you Keita. have Oxley Chamberlain coming Fuck. off the bench still. Fuck. Uh, but Thiago, dude, he's such a game changer. Yeah, those his through balls are insane, and we know that's Liverpool style with his. Salah and Mane on the sides. Uh, if they actually sign Thiago, I think I I think it's fair to say they're probably gonna win the Premier League again. Well, well, okay, let's uh, unless the way Man U are playing, it'll uh, be an, it'll be an interesting uh, race. Uh, Man U. Man, you're playing great. Uh, you think they're going to keep that up into the next season? I really hope so. Uh, so why would you say, oh, you know, un- unless Man U plays well? Okay, what if Chelsea plays well? Cabron. Yeah. Are we I forgetting mean, Manchester City, who doesn't have a Champions League, who's going to concentrate solely on next, revenge? Next season is going to be such a close race. Because I forgot, yeah. you guys have CJ and Werner now. Yep. And more to come, hopefully. And well, more oh, to come. Watch yeah. we get the angle. Watch we get the angle. Steal him from Liverpool? Oh like, God, you guys yes. stole Pedro from us? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> and William, <laughs> That'd be insane. And John Obi Mikel, who's a piece of shit. Fuck John Obi Mikel. You guys, you guys had him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so I guess now back into, into the Americas. After we started with the Loyal, check out our watch party on Saturday at noon. We're going to 
We're going to keep posting that on our social media every single day. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to have, uh, the, oh, had the MLS, MLS madre. Copa por Mexico. Yeah, so it's a, pre, it's a preseason tournament that uh, TV companies put up. Mm-hmm. Obviously, obviously to make some money. You mean uh, the people who own the teams? Pretty much. <laughs> yes. I mean, I hate how it can be a little corrupted in Mexico. Uh, but we still love to watching it, you know. Oh, so little. Copa del Mexico, it's a great tournament. Uh, it's only eight teams. Uh-huh. Uh huh. There's two groups. There's Group A mm-hmm. with wow. Chivas, Atlas, Tigres, and new team Mazatlan FC, mm-hmm. aka Monarcas. And Group B is where we have Group B. Los Mazapan FC. We have uh, Ma- America. Madre, Toluca, Pumas, and Cruz Azul. Pinches, madre, pinche America. Yeah, yeah, screw them. Uh, but yeah, uh, all, all, Tigres, all, all their supporters Mazatlán don't pay Tigres taxes. What? Uh, what? All, all America supporters don't pay taxes and kick puppies. Oh my god, <laughs> that's funny. So Actually, yeah. I think Tigres ended up tying with uh, with Mazatlan, right? I, I, I do believe. You what? <laughs> I do, don't do believe. Yeah, so Tigres tied with Mazatlan. Chivas ended up beating Atlas 2 nothing. Um, for the Chivas no. game, it was all Angulo. He's, yeah. uh, he scored, tied, and oh, he, he, he assisted and scored, uh, which is what you expect when you sign a winger of that quality. I don't know if you know who Angulo is. That's a calibre. He used yeah. to play in Cholos. Uh, He's the future we signed, of Mexico. We signed them last. No, I mean, could be. But we signed him last season. He didn't play much. Uh, but he started this game, and he beasted, he beasted her. Chivas have some really young talent. If Chivas managed to keep Macias, uh-huh. sorry about that. If Chivas managed to keep Macias, Chivas could be dangerous next season. Because Macias is the next up-and-coming thing for Mexico. I've okay. been saying this since he was literally 17, man. Oh, I'm not even playing, man. He, he, Chivas played Cholos one time. It was a Halloween game. And they didn't play their starters because uh-huh. they were in the... La Libertadores? Uh, they were in the... No, the Conca Champions, I think. Mm-hmm. I think it was Conca Champions. Or something like that. But they didn't play their starters. And they had Macias on the starter. And Chivas tend to lose against Cholos. Yeah. Straight up. I yeah. mean, we they had, they had more wins over us. But it was game was on Omni Life at the time of Omni Life, and we beat them three one. Macias scored two golazos, and I told my brother, "Dude, this kid is a beast." Mm-hmm. He was like, "Hi, nah, just lucky." And then thinks he ended up going to Leon, killed it. So he's good. Bottom he's line, he's got it. He's the next. He's cool. Could have said that. Like uh, I don't want to say he's the next Charito. I think he's gonna be greater than Chicharito straight up. Straight up. So that he, so he's good. Got it. Yeah. I understood. Got it. Yeah, Mazatlan tied against Tigres. And not bad for a debut. Not bad. It's a, I mean, it's not really a debut. It's a most like, more like a rebrand. Um, yeah. But, I mean. It's a nice stadium, though. It is a nice stadium. I mean, nice, nice, nice color uniforms. Los Mazapanes. Good job, guys. Um, we're going to, you know, it's. This tournament means nothing, so... Yeah, because it'll be Pumas 4-1 and sí. America 1 as well. So. A ver, Cruz va a ganar this whole thing, and they're going to be like, ¡Ah, vas a ser como campeones! Just like, Just like they celebrated that La Copa MX? No, that doesn't count. That does not count. I do not consider <laughs> Copa MX anything. anything. Really? Really. Why not? El torneo is the only thing that's been there. I guess it's something else. It's something new. But it doesn't have the prestige of Cop- the Copa has, was actually there before a, while, a long time ago, I, and they yeah, brought it back. They brought it back, but I was fine without it. There's no prestige. I mean, I mean, now I kind of see it where uh, they kind of like Liga Senso is pretty much like yeah, not there anymore. Yeah, uh, I can see that. But at the same time, it's a great tournament to play your youngsters. I I guess just have a okay then have a tournament for the youngsters. Not not for where the youngsters can play. No, 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 no. Have a tournament for the youngsters. Simple as that. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's a good take, too. That's a good take. I'm not going to say. Goddamn right. Um, but, yeah, I mean, soccer world. Um, yeah, Mexican, so, the Mexican soccer news, Miguel Herrera, a.k.a. Piojo, could be the next Real Betis coach. Uh-huh. Which, if he does, 
he'd be linked up with uh, Diego Lainez, mm-hmm. who he pretty much gave a chance to debut in Mexico, which I'm sure he'd probably be starting or giving more minutes, mm-hmm. which could be good for him, which means he could be, he could be good for Mexico because there's a player with a lot of talent mm-hmm. that could potentially help Mexico win a World Cup. I'm not saying he's the difference maker, but he's a really good player. It's not going to happen in our lifetime, Alejandro. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. I I'm, wish it I'm will. I'm really hopeful. But I'm really hopeful. 2026. Oh, man. That'd be five. Imagine if we're desmadre, there. El desmadre que oh, se va a hacer si gana México ese mundial. The final, have it be in Los Angeles Rams. Brand new. Well, at that time, it'd be... Uh, so what six year old stadium, five year old stadium? I don't know any other stadiums that are going to get built in that time, but that's the biggest and best one. Which one? Uh, the Rams Stadium. Imagine oh. la final de la Copa del Mundo or the, the Raiders Stadium. Eh, it's in Vegas. I don't want to go to Vegas. California, who's, who's San Diego. Have, yeah, <laughs> at uh, Torero, LA, LA. At Torero Stadium, bro. <laughs> at uh, SDSU West, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, so I think that World Cup is like uh, mostly all the games here. Ten games in Mexico and ten games in Canada. Yeah. Um, um, which where, probably where would it be in Canada? Where would the final be? It has to be in the U.S. Money, bro. Money in the Estadio Azteca. Could be too. Could be. Oh, uh, or Estadio Mazatlan. That's why they made the stadium. You know that's why they made it. That's gonna be beautiful. Oh man, all and the all, all that narco cartel money is finally paying off. Straight up. <laughs> Thank you, Chapel. Fuck. <laughs> I guess yeah. Did you want to say that? I guess so they don't come after you. Um, exactly. But switching it up, moving it into biggest contract in sports history in the world ever. Wait, this fool's a half a billionaire. Not yet. Well, potentially. In the name, uh, Patrick Mahomes signed agreed uh, to a ten-year contract. With the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a 10 year contract in the NFL before. And not in the NFL. You see those usually in baseball. Yeah, These in are, baseball, yes. This is, we're talking baseball numbers. Where, but here's the thing in baseball, it's guaranteed, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Here, though, you have to work for it. Uh, there's a possibility. I saw we showed me the number it was like 500 and what? It could potentially go to 503 million. 477 million guaranteed. Holy shit. Uh, I know I saw the tweet. It said no. Uh, Trade clause? Uh, no. Percent. It's, it's the percent. Uh, what's it called? Man, I had the word right now. While you look for the word. See, we're a brand new podcast, and this pisses me off. What pisses you off? Oh. The lighting. Oh, my God, man. We're fucking now idiots. We good. Yeah. But now we look better. Now we look better, huh? Jesus. It's part, you know, it's part of the podcasting experience, bro. It's part of the podcasting experience. We're learning as we're going. My bad. God damn it. I turned them off. I'm going to save energy and save the planet. Nah. Fuck. Hey, man, we're learning as we're going. We're doing pretty good. I love what we're doing. Uh, and I stopped looking for what I was looking for. Yeah, so uh, Patrick Mahomes is going to get... No paid. salary cap percentage. Okay. Oh, shit. Which is good. <laughs> right? <Which> is <laughs> right? Good. <laughs> <laughs> for Mahomes. I mean, you know who this is good for? Who? Dak Prescott. Wow, true. Who is... I mean, he still hasn't really necessarily finalized anything, I think. Pretty sure, but... Four hundred. Okay, what do you, what are the expectations? Is Mahomes worth half a billion dollars? No. No, you don't think so. I don't think so. I think he is. I don't think so. Only, and this is going to go into your next question, which is like, how many? Yeah. How many rings are you expecting? Because. In the 10 year period, I mean, I said I'm expecting three. Three and, rings. And you said you're. Plus ex- the one he has? Or. That's what I'm saying. He, in this time period, in, including this offseason, uh, we're expecting three rings in his whole career. I expect in his whole career. What? You don't know how hard it is to do 
Tom, this is how amazing Tom Brady and Bill Belichick winning sixes. You just, it just lost. It's like, I, bro, the Bills tried for three consecutive years and got destroyed. It's the hardest thing to win. The Eagles had not had a Super Bowl in. Uh, I, the Chargers don't have a Super Bowl. Like Kansas I'm, City I, had took fifty years to win a kid Super Bowl. Is special though. This one kid is special. Honestly, I don't want to be that guy. I love Andy Reid. Do we really think Andy Reid's going to last us 10 years? I don't think it matters who your coach is when you have Patrick Mahomes. Um, well, and, I mean, I think that dude that does count. Otherwise, Texas Tech would have gone and won the national championship back-to-back years whenever he was at Texas Tech. But no. I think he's gotten better than when he was 100%. in Texas Tech. 100%. And that's Andy Reid's doing. It's Alex Smith's doing. 100%. But I think the $450 million and, and and potential half a billion that he can make is more of the Chiefs saying, hey, yeah, you're worth this fucking much. You're worth, I would have said, $400, $400 million. Like, just that's it. Like, that's it. No chance for five, No. That would have still been the biggest contract. It would still have been the biggest contract. But I think that extra that's got tacked on and the possibility for, to be yep. have a half a billion is more like, a thank you for already having gotten them. I can see that. Bowl. I can see that. The thing is, if I'm if I'm the Chiefs and I'm paying half a billion in the next ten years, I'm expecting four to five Super Bowl rings. <sighs> I'm expecting that because this team looked dominant. And he, yeah, okay, look dominant. But look what what's happening. No, not look. They were dominant. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, good. They're they're still dominant. They're and the, I can see I, them being I, I think that, I think I think they're gonna win it again this season. Hundred percent. But see what happens in the season after that. You're gonna have you to pay tr- everybody. You try to keep as many of the talent you can. You have. You're gonna pay. You literally just gave Patrick Mahomes all the money. One, two. You're gonna have to give Travis Kelsey all the fucking money. Three. You're gonna have you're to. You're not give, gonna have to give Kelsey all the money because he's not the best tight end in the league. He's not the best tight end in the league. I mean, he's up there. You're he's still so, gonna have to. Back he, up I think the he's truck the second or third. You're still gonna have to back up the truck. Kittle's the best tight end. And it's not Kelsey, right? Yeah, and uh, what's the face? The defensive tackle they have. They got him. They they have to pay him. What about Tyreek Hill? Did they just pay him? Yeah. So he's, he's so, so he's, he's set. Dead. So I mean. This this ten year you thing. You got Matthew on defense, who is a great uh, defensive player. And that's the thing. Like, if it was if if it was a situation where it was Bill Belichick, I'd be like, all right, it's Bill Belichick because he's been there, he's done it. Andy Reid, as much as I love him, it look at how much it took for him to finally win one. Not only that, the team he had, the team he had, and. Uh, I we've we've seen what he's done with 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 nothing with shit players, not even shit players. He he has like people like Nicole Hartman who's amazing and he brought in. He's going to be serviceable. He's going to have on the cheap. So things like that help him. But having Super Bowl caliber ch- uh, championship teams, you know, hasn't really been his thing. Playoff winning teams, yeah, definitely. But ten years for Ch- Patrick Mahomes is he worth that much? I don't think so. But it's not. Out of the question, it's not like oh my god. Thing that's is, way it's four hundred and seventy-seven million guaranteed. Four hundred would have been. F- and here, it, it, Dude, like, the thing is, here's the thing. Uh huh. God forbid. What is next season? Career-ending injury. Oh, you mean like the career-ending injury he already had last year and miraculously came back to save my fantasy football season late for that push? God yes, damn but right. this time, imagine he's actually out. <sighs> Okay. You got all that money you just lost. Sure. You got all that money you just lost. I mean, it happens. Look at Andrew Luck. See Andrew Luck. True. I mean, it, it happens. I don't but, think it's okay. going to happen. But to lose my home, I mean, to have him is such a, a plus in your team. Bring back Matt Castle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it was funny. Josh McCown tweeted, uh, is is uh what he tweet is it is it the same like is it comparable to the contract that uh, is this, is this more than uh, a one year contract with ten teams? <laughs> yeah. Poor guy, man. He, nah, you he gotta loves love it. him. You gotta love him. He he. Hey, man, if you've been in the league for ten plus years, 
Yeah, he, he that's he, that's pretty that's pretty impressive. He knows his role in the league. He's always known. He's a company guy. God bless Josh McGowan. He almost got the Eagles over to the to a, a playoff berth, but hey man, he got he literally died on the field. Points. He uh, literally the Jets. Yeah, the Jets. He was playing right. Um, and then I mean, yeah, you say six, I say three, and even three, it's just it's I didn't say crazy. six. I said five. Okay, five, sure, including five. the one he has. So four more. Um, four more. So I mean, finishing off with uh, NFL, there is some contra- controversy happening in the in the Washington area. It's Not, nothing new, though. It's nothing new. It's, it's been, it, it happened in it's, two. It's been brought up before. Um. So we have uh, the Redskins, which you know won't. Well, as much as people want to say the team from Washington, officially speaking, they're still, still the, Redskins. the Redskins. If it, if, if we happen to say it, so it's still the team. Yep, still um, the team. Name. We're not referring, obviously, to any type of anything. But um, so I mean, the Washington NFL team was founded. It's actually from Boston. Amazingly, Boston is just mm-hmm. terrible people over there. Ter- very racist people. Uh, some of them. Some of them. Obviously not mm-hmm. all of them. Obviously. Yep. Geez, God damn it. Why do I have to say that? Uh, but then they, they went from being the Braves into the Redskins. And in the th- uh, 1937, they moved over to the capital of the United States uh, and became the Washington Redskins. So this name has its roots going back all the way into the 1700s. So that's the argument. I mean, look. Say what it will, what, what what you will. It's still a sport. It's it's it's, a, it's referring to a sports team name, but it does harbor that sentiment for certain particulars. You even have kinda like um, the Aztec. It's kind of like this, yeah. It's kind of like the Aztec mascot. But here's the thing: it's not like the SDS is we're called the SDSU Wetbacks. Like yeah. you know, it, it, it <laughs> yeah. de- definitely like it's it's a different thing where. You know that is that is a racial you know term. Yeah, no, Az- for Aztecs. I mean, is what they were Aztecas. Yeah. Like you can't you can't go around that. Yep. Um, I mean, what do you what do you think? Should they should they change the name? Yeah, they have to. I think I they mean, have to. They it's not even they have to. They've been needing to, but it's just hasn't. It, Dan Snyder, the owner, has come out very very strongly against any type of change back in 2013 when this did come up. Uh, because the Redskins had the copyright almost taken away, and people. So, uh-huh. I don't want to interrupt. So you change the team name. You got to change the logo. You got to change the uniforms too. Well, I mean, no. You can keep the same uniform. So that's actually like what. Um, well, I'm actually kind of pull up right here. Uh, there was odds in Vegas for the different types of, of names, which is the stupidest bet you can ever make. What type of a person? That's just free money you're giving away. If you're going to do that, just give it to us. Um, but they do. They did release the odds of what the new names could be. Some of them are historical. Some of them are, uh, you know, just just wild out there. So this is uh, according tails. to. Wow, that could be pretty cool. Yeah, Red Tails is actually, uh, and we'll get to them a little bit. It's referring to uh, the African American pilots. pilots. Yeah. Oh, I've seen the movie. Oh, see, I didn't even know there was a movie. You, you haven't seen that movie? No, bro. I just know about it from fucking books. I bro, actually read. watch the movie. Great actors in it. Who? Uh, you say Denzel? No, he's not there. Uh, I don't know the names. You, you can read that. There's a, a young uh, Michael B. Jordan in it. Meh. He's overrated. Wait, is he? He's overrated. Sure. Hundred percent overrated. He should be rated, but overrated. Um, yeah, it's an old movie, twenty twelve. Ah, uh, Lucas Films made it. Yeah. Oh, oh it's a really, really good movie. Uh, but really it, it's about movie. it's. Oh, I remember seeing this. Yeah. Ah, oh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Mm-hmm. Neo. All right, mm-hmm. Terrence Howard. Hey, you're not you're not wrong. Yep. Um, all right, I might check it out. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's a good movie. Uh, but that, that'd be a pretty good name. I can uh, see. So, I can. so we have. Uh, we're we're going to read off of his Sports Illustrated uh, the odds from Vegas, courtesy of Bet Online. So you have the three to one, which are red tails. The red tails. You have four to one odds. The generals. Mm. And you have the presidents. This one's the weird one. Lincoln's. Lincoln's. 
<laughs> wow. And that's on top of the veterans, the Capitals, which is already the name of a hockey team. Yeah. Um, the Americans. Americans really. Um, I guess. Memorials, mm. the monuments. You have 12 to 1, the Roosevelt's, uh, the Red Hawks, 15 to 1, the Jeffersons, the Renegades. It goes to Hawks. 500. This is a bet. 500 to 1. The Trumps. The Trumps along with the Snowflakes. There's peep. There's some one person put a dollar on that. Like, for there to be odds for it. I put a dollar. It's stupid. <laughs> What did happen? You make five hundred bucks. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, uh, I, really I think like you got fifty-one odds with the hogs. Oh man, I really like uh, the red tails. Yeah, and I mean, you don't have to. You really don't have to change anything. You can be the same color. If, any, if anything, you because uh, that I love that color. Yeah, that's it's, a good it's color. A nice, it's that, helmet, that helmet's a nice helmet color. Uh, and I mean, dude, like your mascots are playing now. A world 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 War Two plane, a World War Two plane. It's an upgrade. I mean, you know, uh, and it's not the only one. Like, I mean, see the difference is somebody brought it up to me. Like, oh, what about the Chiefs? It's not a racial slur. It's not. Like it's it's, it, it's again. Not. I see where you're coming from. It's like the leader. Yeah, like it's 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 not like a derogatory term. No, you're yeah. the chief. Like you're the boss. The, it's like, I mean, how many it's like, pretty hey, much how called doing, chief. Yeah, it's Kansas City bosses. Kansas City, yep. you know. Yep, straight up. It's a position. Kansas City metal medals. Yeah, chiefs is not. It's not. It's not a racial term. It's a position. Chief yeah. of police. Chief of whatever. Chief of staff. Chief of staff. Chiefing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah. So hopefully they change it. Uh, there's a lot of there's wow, there's, there's talk of saying of, of having this change happen before the season starts, which would be a complete just miracle undertaking. I'm, I'm reading off of the headlines for ESPN. Uh huh. I'm not surprised that it says Trump defends Redskins. <laughs> I mean, it was only a matter of time. I actually read a, a little bit of it. Let me. Pickers <sighs> offering free parking for games. What? <laughs> Look, ESPN is hurting, dude. Like, we're <laughs> we're the ones that are here competing with ESPN. Like, we they're they're at home. They may be worried. Yeah, they're yeah, they should be worried. You say from <laughs> we're coming from them. Two balls and a mic. Coming for you. Um, we're not making a deal with Disney. <laughs> we're not. Oh, not yet. Uh, uh, we're, gonna excuse- sell, we're gonna sell out. Is that what you're doing? Uh, so, uh, our the president of the United States, and this is again. You know, we did bring Black Lives Matter. Not, that's not really political. It's just literally rights of people. Um, let's see. The teams, from, per the president, they name teams out of strength, not weakness. I don't, I don't have a Trump impression, so I can't. Like, this is how this is, I, I sound like I think he thinks he sounds. Right? Okay. Fair. They name teams out of strength, not weakness. Can you try doing a Trump accent? God damn it. Um, no, because then it gets political. Because you're making fun of the guy. They name team. <laughs> Out of strength. Oh, man. Oh, Not what's the weakness. president tweet about that? Uh, but yeah. Know, mic, make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Shit. That'd be great publicity. Um, <laughs> I, no publicity is bad publicity, I guess. Uh, no, but he's defending the Redskins and then the Cleveland Indians, who are literally. It's not a surprise Indians. that he's a. Have yeah. you, you ever seen their mascot, right? Yeah. It's literally an Indian smiling, mm-hmm. um, which has and been the cartoon, changed. Cartoonish, right? That, yeah, that got changed to a C. Um, and so. That's better. They're the fabled sports franchises. <laughs> Look like they're going to be changing their names in order to politic to become politically correct. <laughs> Indians like Elizabeth Warren <laughs> must be very what? angry right now. Dude, that's pretty good. Is it? <laughs> that's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if I'm tripping, but I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drop in the comments if you get, if you like this accent because that was pretty good. Um, but yeah, so I that's literally the first time I've ever tried that. Like you yeah, saw yeah. the development of from like nah, 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 <laughs> to like okay, let's. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah. I thought I thought that was pretty uh, spot on. There's, there's your your two cents from the president of the United States who 
It's, it's, cool it's, it's everybody's oh, president, unfortunately. I hate when he tries to talk sports because I know he doesn't watch them. He does. He does. He watches sports. This is, the, watch? this, is, this is the WWE Hall of Fame oh. person we're talking about. All right. Where Did you know? Fun wrestling. fact. Fun fact. All right. All right. Still sports because sports entertainment. Chris Benoit, the guy that and hung himself and his uh-huh, family uh-huh, and just uh-huh, terrible, uh-huh, terrible, uh-huh, terrible. Uh-huh. So while that happening happened, there was a storyline when Vince McMahon got into a limousine and he, he blew up and he died. Right. That's how the raw ended. And so between that raw that Monday and the next Monday is when happened. And so they had to switch it up and have a memorial because he died and they thought he wasn't a murderer. Right. Yeah. So it's going to. So when he blew up because of the storyline in the limousine. Trump texted Vince McMahon because he thought he had actually died. Man, that's our president, ladies and gentlemen. So I know he watches. Uh, <laughs> at least something. Uh, but yeah, so... I miss Obama. Um, I miss anybody who's sane, but I don't think there's that many sane people out there anymore. Um Fact. I think it was a good week. We're excited. There was a lot of talk about. We crunched it in. I can't think of. Look, baseball's happening. I guess for now. Yeah. But whatever. Like I'm. I'm. I'm tired of baseball. I'm gonna watch it. You're not. It's. It's fine. Uh, look I'll out. Watch, I'll watch the World Series. <laughs> we'll watch the World Series. Uh, look out for our interview with Alan Underwood, Mr. Alan from Fairweather Podcast. We also and don't forget the Zoom party we're having on Saturday, July 11th at. Probably noon. noon. Yeah, that's around Probably time. Gonna start it. We'll keep giving information on Twitter for that. Yeah, absolutely. So stay tuned on our social media. Yeah, so hit us up. We can't post it because that's how people come in and just drop nasty words because they look, they search on Twitter for Zoom and they mm-hmm. just click random links. Yeah. So we'll DM you those. Thank you guys for the support. Later on, we're going to have a uh, next gen podcast on. We're also going to release that interview with Alan a little bit later. And, um, I was up an interview on Friday, right? Yeah, interview on Friday. We'll let you know what's coming up. And uh, thanks for the support. Hats are week. still available. Yep. Um, yeah. It was it's a great up for day. hats and stickers. Woo! Thank you. Later, everyone.